Hello, you guys. Welcome back. Okay, listen. I'm up tonight, okay? I'm just up. I've been doing a lot of thinking, just chilling. I think I'm just in one of those, like, um, moods. Like, mm, what up, shorty? I think I'm just in one of those moves where it's all, um, I don't know, just thinking. Like, my mind is pretty much cleared. I, you know, I'm not doing a lot of thinking, but, you know, I know this is a new day now. But it was just my husband's birthday. So, you know, I'm just chilling you know, thinking, but not thinking too much because I don't want to be in that um, mindset, should I say. I don't want to get myself in that mindset, you know. Yo, I've been truly, truly blessed and very humble throughout everything I've been through. I'm going to keep it real with you guys. And I feel comfortable with speaking with you because I know I'm not the only one that has been through a lot, especially this year. Losing my husband, losing my father, my mother been deceased. Oh, my God. My husband's birthday was the 25th yesterday. And my mother died September the 24th, right? My mother's birthday was July the 12th. And my husband died July the 13th. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Wow. My mother's birthday July the third the July the twelfth. My husband died July the thirteenth. Then my husband's birthday September the twenty fifth. And my mother died September the twenty fourth. Yo, this is Mind blowing. Like I this literally just came to my mind. Oh hell no. I know people, some people say certain things is not a coincidence. How the fuck is this even possible? You know what? I'm going to think about that one another time. But, yo, this is mind-blowing. The 12th and the 13th can be very significant to someone. Of course, for me. And the 24th and the 25th. Wow could be significant for someone. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm going to give y'all a um message. You know, I'm not trying to make it too long, but oh we uh, I just said that my mind was clear and you know cuz I'm a type of person that my mind is always running like I'm an overthinker. Like, my mind is always on go time. But now that I thought about that, you know what? <laughs> Spur, what is the message? I know it's late. Oh, my goodness. This, this is going to be on my mind for the rest of the day, God. you guys. I'm telling you, this is going to be on my mind. Wow. 
Give me, what's the message for um, family room? <laughs> like, this is a space where so you can have conversations. But normally when I see this call, it gives off like um, secrets, conversations, gossip, whatever the case may be. You say, hey, pathway, coffin. Now, I know when we do readings, it's based off of energy, right? <laughs> Ooh, we spirit, spirit, spirit. Family room. I am in my home in my room discussing these dates of the loss and passing of my mother and my father. Family room. Pathway and coffin. Give me more on this spirit. What, what else on this message? I did not really want this, you know, at all. Want this message to be about me. This is a collective reading spirit. So what do the collective needs to know? Okay. Occupation. Someone could be 34. Mm. We got a thief in the building. A mature woman, journey, and wealthy man. They could be a mature woman. <laughs> Hold up, shorty. <laughs> uh, is there a is there a, a mature woman? Taking a journey or a trip towards a wealthy man to take or steal. Give me more on this. And then you had occupation. Give me more on this, bird. Mm. That just comes to show you how energy work. You understand what I'm saying? And I already know my energy is very powerful. Like, my energy dominate shit. You feel what I'm saying? So, let's see. Give me more on that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm not about to go down there and get this card. It fell on the floor. Face down, ass up. That's the way we like the... You know what? <laughs> I see expectation. Ugh, do I really gotta get down here and get this card, spirit? <sighs> I'm keep saying high honors. Someone could be expecting something when it comes to an occupation like a job, a career, a business. There could be some type of conversation about this expectation. Hold on, you guys. I got to hold my phone so it won't fall. Yeah, there's some type of um concern, okay? Someone could be worried about a job. Hmm. Someone can someone can travel for work. But there's some type of concern and expectation when it comes to somebody's occupation. Like you could be discussing this with family or friends or co-workers here. 
Okay? Let me see. Give me more on this spirit. Someone could be 33. Someone could be 28. Give me more on this message, spirit. What the? <laughs> okay, spirit. These cards is going. Okay. Hold on, you guys. Once again, look, don't judge me. I'm comfortable in my room, okay? This card did not want me to pick it up for some odd reason, y'all. Listen, that was a lot of work. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. 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 I okay. I see where this going. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I I see where that's going. Um This not going to be for everybody. Yo, this is crazy. Why does it feel like this is deja vu? Uh. This shit is crazy. I see, yo. Give me a second, you guys. Give me a second. I seen this before. I seen this before. I seen this before. Okay. When I do these readings, Right, I really don't do too much of uh zodiac signs, not like that. Um, I like to do collective readings because I like to um include everyone, right? So, this could be anyone reading, including me, right. So only please take what resonate. But yo, I just had a strong vision. Deja vu. I said it before. I, I'm about to have a pop up visit. I'm about to have a pop, a unexpected pop-up visit from someone I don't care for. And this could be someone in the collective as well. Someone is about to pop up unexpected that you have not talked to, spoken to, don't care for, whether it's family, friend, whoever, You got expectation, even though they say expectation, like as if this person expecting something. Wow. But now that I am visualizing and having deja vu, now that I know someone is about to pop up, now there is some type of expectation. Of someone that's coming. Ooh we. Now remember. When I said. In the beginning. About my mother. And my husband death. The birth. And the endings. Concern, you had coffin, 
right? I, I don't think I mentioned that, but you have coffin. These are the cards that fell on the floor. Coffin and unex, unexpected income. Due to some type of loss, ending, or death here. There could be some type of talk, conversation. I don't want, mm, depending on your peoples, uh, everybody, family, and peoples is different. There could be some type of gossip, but definitely some type of conversation in this family room. About some type of ending or death here. It's almost giving like someone, there could be family or friends talking or gossiping about some type of monies, income, financial gain that someone is about to receive due to a death. Occupation is here, right? Because whoever is in this coffin energy, you know when you work, you have benefits. Depending on what your job or career offers. 401k, life insurance, things of that nature. But there's some type of talk due to this ending here. And then you have sudden wealth, right? At the bottom of the deck. Somebody is about to get paid. Um, like I said, life insurance, estate, property, something due to a ending of a situation. Okay. Then you have false person, courthouse, and gift and change. Due to a merge. Now, once again, I'm including myself. Okay? I am married. Well, was married. Okay? My husband's no longer here. And there's a false person in the mix. That's concerned. Well, you do have concern here. But ain't none of their business is what I'm getting. There's a false, fake-ass family or friend that's like, I'm getting calculate. That's what I'm getting in my mind, calculate. Somebody is trying to calculate, figure out or find out what you get in, what you're about to expect from a loss or ending here. That's the conversation and that is the gossip. There's some type of unexpected income and sudden wealth that's coming in for someone. Okay? They someone could there could even be some type of court situation that's going on that's connected to a gift that's owed to you, that belongs to you. Okay? There could be a false individual in the mix. And I'm going to say it again. It could be a family or friend. That be that could be like filing some type of paperwork, going to court. They could be even trying to keep something from you. When it comes to this gift and this change due to a merge because you are the official person. And the whole community could be involved. But you know what? Give me more on this, Spirit. Give me more on this message. Message came out in reverse. Now, remember I told you, concern is in an upright. Someone is very concerned about something. About what somebody is expecting. But message came out in reverse. So, that's given... For whoever this message may be for, I know I am keep saying for whoever, because that can be for me too. You have nothing to worry about. Because whatever this unexpected income that's coming towards you from a loss, a death, or whatever this may be for you, 
You have nothing to worry about. You have nothing to worry about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Toil and labor, bad health and lovers. It has something to do with a loved one or a lover. If someone passed on or passed away, whatever they did for work with toil and labor, they worked their ass off. They worked very hard, okay, for their benefits, okay? And someone, you know, and then you have bad health here. You know, they had to be somebody could have felt sick. There could have been some type of sickness. Only you know your situation. My husband died in a motorcycle accident. Okay. So somebody fell sick that led up to a death. Okay. But they was a very hard worker. And you had lovers here. So, yeah, house, mean male, mature man, and privileged lady, and adjudication, once again, with mature woman. There could be a mother and father that is working against you. Mm -hmm. Put it out there. Put it out there. I'm just keeping it real. That's just who I am. I'm very upfront. And I don't have nothing to hide. Okay? There is something that is being granted to you. But with that false person, there is a mature woman and mature man. Now, like this is energy. This don't have nothing to really do with gender. It's energy but for instance my situation i'm married right i told you my mother is already deceased and my father but um my husband mother and father is still living <laughs> in-laws these could be your in-laws that's against you they are false people remember you have concern and you have family room here, right? Someone is, whoever this false energy is, it's like they got a lot of, like, they got a, they got a lot to say. It's like they trying to figure you out. They trying to calculate. That's what I'm constantly, that's what I'm getting in my, they trying to calculate what someone is receiving. Mm, spirit said that's the truth. Spur oh, yeah, that's the truth. From someone death. Whether that's your spouse, whether that's your uh uh a death of your mother, your father, uh, it don't matter, it don't matter. But there's a false person in your energy. If they not in your energy, this is a false person that you know. That's trying they it's like they concern about what you got coming in. I, I, that, I, that's, I can't, um, that's what I got right now. Somebody trying to figure some shit out. And with this message coming out in reverse, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Mm -hmm. So while they over here being concerned, <laughs> give me something else on this spur. Mm. I just said Southern Wealth was at the bottom of the deck. And guess what came out? Southern Wealth. You have nothing to worry about. If you was like next to Ken. Okay. What you got going on over here, baby? I got my baby here, Pearly Whirly. You know. Um... Or whatever, you know how that stuff go, you know. But um, 
while they up here trying to calculate and being concerned about what's coming towards you, you good. And, and, and let me be very clear. Yes. It's crazy. I can say a lot of words. I can, you know, I can try to describe a lot of shit. Don't nobody, well, at least I can speak for myself. I would never imagine in a thousand years that I would have to go through this. Y'all understand what I'm saying? I'm quite sure don't nobody want to go through no shit like this. No matter who you lost. But the reality of the situation... Someone is about to receive some type of unexpected income and sudden wealth from a death, a pass on loved one. And you got a false person in your energy trying to calculate your shit. And there's a lot of gossip about that. They trying to figure this shit out. I can't make it up. Pathway is somebody that passed on, someone that passed away, left you some type of fortune, left you like some type of property, uh, some type of um, well, uh, in in a state. But you got someone, a mature woman, and a mature man now. You could be a mature woman or a mature man. You could be somebody that's older or older. Woman or older man, put the energy where you would like to put the energy at. Okay? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But on my end, the only motherfuckers I got left is my husband's side of the family, which is his mother and father, and they are older. A mature woman and a mature man. <clears throat> I'm about to say some sh stuff, but, you know, sometimes your spurs were like, <clears throat> Cut it off before my mouth get. I'll be in that uh, queen of swords energy real quick. Yeah, because my mouth is very wicked. So, um, anywho, back to the messages and the readings. Okay, but give me more on this, bird. Look at this shit. Death magic. But you're being protected by ancestors. Okay. Somebody is very protected by like somebody got ancestors that do not play about them. I'm telling you, not at all. You think surprise? Collector, collective surprise. What you think, y'all? Spirit come through. Come through. Unexpected income and sudden wealth and you got surprised. Look, then you got change. There's some changes. Um, <laughs> it might not be in a way that you expected. Let's just keep it real. If don't nobody believe in nothing, one thing that everybody should believe in, we all are promised one thing. If we ain't promised nothing else, everybody is promised death. And that's a fact. This ain't no fucking conspiracy theory over this motherfucker. Everybody is promised death. Even though don't nobody be like, I, I, listen. I said the same thing, like, damn, I'm getting this, receiving that, but damn, why the hell it happened through this way? I would want, I would still want my mother, my father, and my husband to be here, okay, and still be working my nine to five. I'm keeping the road. That's just me. But things happens. Ain't nothing promised. Ain't nothing promised. That's just where I'm at with it. You feel me? But yeah, you got to change here. There's some major, major changes. And when I'm getting with this surprise over this family room and this coffin, it's almost like someone, loved one, is like, surprise. I know this is something that you was not expecting. 
but I made sure you was good. Well, unexpected income and change right here with occupation, baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look at this. And I'm not going to take all these cards. You got love spell, okay? You had priestess, star seed, and north node. When I say someone... Whoever I'm speaking to, and as I said, I'm definitely speaking to myself, but whoever else is experiencing this, um, you definitely all on the right track. You all on the right path. Um, you are being aligned. Okay. You are a true star seed. Your light is shining very bright. You are in your north node, baby. You're in your North Node. Like, for someone, it's something special about you. Why these other energies, negative energies, karmic energies, being concerned and trying to figure out what you got coming in and this, that, and the third, baby? Fuck them. Don't worry about them. Hmm. Point blank, period. Let them keep on wandering. Because you good. Period. You are. And your ancestors got your back. Look, this is what they wanted. This is the energy they are in conflict. They concerned because they want to bring drama and bullshit to you. What did I say in the beginning of the reading? When I had that deja vu, and I'm telling you, Sometimes I hear deja vu and it's like a just a uh a, a, a second, like a, a a a second memory, and then I I forget. But for some odd reason, this deja vu was different from any other deja vu I had. This lasts more than a second. And somebody is about to pop up unexpectedly at my house that I don't fuck with or care for. I'm just going to keep it real with you. Okay? Okay, I'm just saying. Because I would hate to be in my queen of swords energy. I don't think they want me to be in my queen of swords energy, baby. Because I'm going to give it to them. Point blank, period. But anywho, give me more about this spirit, this message. Yes, you know. Ooh. I know you're probably like, why is she still up? <laughs> Distant future. I'm telling you, a lot of you guys, y'all have a, like, a good, like, this ain't no short thing. That's coming about for you. This distant future is giving baby something big is happening for you. Whether you like it or not. I already talked about that. Whether you like it or not. This going to last you. This is going to last you for a while. Mm -hmm. You're going to go a long way with this inheritance, this sudden wealth. Give me something else on this spirit. There's major changes that's happening in someone's life. You can have a, a life path. Your life path number can be number nine. It's so crazy. Because <laughs> my life path number is nine. Wow. Wow. Somebody life path number could be number 11. Your whoever I'm speaking to, the end of all chaos. Drama, conflict, bullshit is coming to an end. It's coming to an end. It's coming to an end. I'm telling you right now, it's coming to an end. There could be a new soulmate that's coming in for someone with relationship. Hold on. Hold up, baby. Too many cards. Hold up. Soulmate relationship that's coming in for someone. So not only you have 
inheritance, abundance, new beginnings. You also have new love coming in. Okay, and I know everybody's situation is different like me. Okay. I'm not really in a rush to get involved with nobody. Okay. But still don't put your life on hold. Whoever I'm speaking to, do not put your life on hold. You still deserve to be loved. You still deserve to have fun. You still deserve to just um, be free. You know? And I know there's some people out there that say, well... You know, I you know if I lost a husband or a wife, I would never love again. I'm still with that energy. I don't give. I and yo, I'm telling you, I don't care how much me and my husband been through, but at the end of the day, I you know you ain't got to take my advice. Still, enjoy yourself. Okay. And I know it's not going to be easy for everyone if you are in this situation, you know. But um, whoever I'm speaking to, you still deserve to be loved. Okay? I, I just have to put that out there. You still deserve to be loved, have fun, enjoy life. Because you never know. Everybody have a time. Give me more on this, Spurt. Awakening. Look at that, boo. Come on, y'all. Come on. Spurt, you've been on one. Yo, when I say my spiritual gifts is becoming more and more powerful, baby. Okay? I'm just saying. <laughs> Yeah, you guys have nothing to worry about. If you lost a loved one, they made sure that you are straight. They made sure you are good. Okay? I'm just saying. I am keep saying this death magic, yo, in every freaking reading. I don't know whether someone is sending someone death magic to a divine, look at this, death magic, divine, oh, spurt, spurt, one, four, four, yo, I can't, if I had another phone, look, look what, real quick, one, four, four. Can't make that up. Look at that. Just look at that real quick. One, four, four. Baby, when I say spur is on it, someone is sending death magic to a divine feminine. And guess who's doing it? A karmic ass fucking feminine. My channel is Intuitive 144 Tevro. Y'all seen that 144 up there? Come through, Spurt. Come through. It's a bitch ass karmic energy, and I'm going to call it how I see it. That's sending a divine feminine death magic. Hmm. But you already know me. I'm a part of the collective. So if anybody's sending anything towards me or my collective, I'm talking about the gut collective. Return to center a thousand times fold, so mo it be. You got me fucked up over here. Period. 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 This would be a common ass energy that, that got some type of legal issues going on. You feel me saying? Yeah. I don't know. Mm. Anything else, Spurt? Before I close out. 
y'all think is a game spirit be on it, yo. Y'all could it's y'all could have a feminine energy. Now I remind you, I said I said a mature woman. Ooh, that's who it is. Thank you, spirit. That's the truth. I, mm, I, I'm keep trying to see. <laughs> Yo, that could be your mother-in-law if you marry. You could have a wicked-ass mother-in-law that don't like you, a wicked-ass father-in-law that don't like you, or a friend or family. But it's a feminine energy. A mature woman, a older woman, that's sending someone death magic. But if you are the good collective that's minding your business, Ain't doing shit to nobody. Stay in your own lane. This ain't for you. But if I got cross watchers. Okay. That is a part of the collective. But you on the wicked side. Like the low vibrational side. Sending a divine feminine death magic. Ooh. We return to center. Ritual. Look at this shit here. I can't make it up. Somebody burning candles and shit. Speaking down on you. Bad on you. Huh. Somebody about to dig their own grave. Look at this. Unexpected income. Unexpected money. Faith. Real love. Real love, hey, I'm searching for real love with ancestors. Boss and transition with conflict. Somebody, you know what? Sometimes I got to think to myself, you know, I'm, I'm quite sure y'all heard of don't give nobody your energy or your power. I got to be very careful what comes out my mouth. I do. I do. Even though I know I can be in that queen of sword energy. Whoever sending this death magic. To a divine feminine. It's a karmic feminine that's doing this. My words are so powerful. And I ain't got to light no candle. No nothing. I would be careful if I was you. I don't know who's doing this. And I'm going to say it again. I ain't got to light no candle. I'm not into witchcraft or none of that shit. But my words are very powerful. So whoever doing this, I will be very careful if I was you. And that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And guess what, Collective? I hope this re and resonate for someone because I know it definitely resonate with me certain parts but holla at your girl don't be shy okay you guys are my family now you feel what I'm saying like I'm gonna always be upfront honest and authentic that's who I am I have to be authentic I, I'm not fake I'm not beating around a bush that's not who I am you understand what I'm saying so make sure y'all get these videos a thumb Thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Everyone be safe. Because this is what they doing. Stay prayed up, cleanse, and all that. But some people just won't get it. Until they get it. Until next time. Bye-bye.